Network Administrator Interview Questions and Answers A network administrator maintains computer infrastructures with emphasis on networking. Responsibilities may vary between organizations, but on-site servers, software network interactions as well as network integrity, resilience are the key areas of focus. Network administration involves a wide array of operational tasks that help a network to run smoothly and efficiently. Without network administration, it would be difficult for all but the smallest networks to maintain network operations. The main tasks associated with network administration include Design, installation and evaluation of the network Execution and administration of regular backups Creation of precise technical documentation, such as network diagrams, network cabling documents, etc. Provision for precise authentication to access network resources. Provision for troubleshooting assistance. Administration of network security, including intrusion detection. What is a network administrator? A network administrator sometimes called a systems administrator, is responsible for keeping an organization's computer network up to date and running smoothly. Any company or organization that uses multiple computers or software platforms needs a network admin to coordinate the different systems. What are the job duties of a network administrator? A network administrator's job can be wide or narrow depending on the organization and how complex its networks are. But in general, a network admin is responsible for the following tasks, according to ONIT. Installing network and computer systems. Maintaining, repairing and upgrading network and computer systems. Diagnosing and fixing problems or potential problems with the network and its hardware, software and systems. Monitoring network and systems to improve performance. How is your DP different from TCP? While TCP is a network protocol that is based on connection, UDP is not connection-based. Connection means that the transfer of data between two points on a network is made with the acknowledgement of the success of the process. TCP is used if we want to transfer data and receive confirmation that the data was really sent, no matter in what time period it was made. How a network maintenance operation is made the maintenance of a network is made by running tests for the purpose of detecting viruses, breakdowns, hackers or bugs. A network administrator should always stay updated with the latest technology and this can be made only through constant market research. Staying up to date helps the administrator to improve the network and to maintain it in a good state all the time. Are you familiar with network architecture? Network administrators deal with systems. These systems have what is called architecture. Some administrators, but not all, specialize in the structure of computer systems. How do you perform system maintenance? Network administrators run checks to detect and prevent bugs, breakdowns, viruses, hackers, etc. They are always up to date with the latest enhancements in the market and install upgrades whenever necessary. What would you say characterizes a professional network administrator? Network administrators are typically enthusiastic about everything computer-related and have a perfect understanding of what might go wrong. They are friendly people, though not necessarily charismatic leaders or great speakers. They give quick, cordial, and, most importantly, extremely efficient service. What types of networks do have the most experience working with as a network administrator? Network architecture can change dramatically depending on the type of network. Expertise in handling a LAN does not necessarily translate to VPN. The answer to this question can tell you whether or not the candidate has experience with your network type and will be a good network administrator for your systems. What to look for in an answer? Knowledge of different types of networks. Interest and experience setting up and maintaining the network structure you use. Their opinions about the different types of networks available. Can you describe a firewall and how it should be used? A firewall is a security conscious router that sits between the internet and your network with a single minded task, preventing them from getting to us. The firewall acts as a security guard between the internet and your local area network, LAN. 
All network traffic into and out of the LAN must pass through the firewall, which prevents unauthorized access to the network. Firewalls are one of the most basic tools in a network administrator's box. They deny traffic from one device to another based on a set criteria. A firewall might disallow contact with a website based on its security certifications or isolate a device that only needs access to a limited list of web addresses. What to look for in an answer? Security is essential in a business setting and firewalls are one element to passive security applicants should demonstrate an understanding of how firewalls work and when to deploy them. What is the meaning of a database server? When a database server exists, it receives the SQL requests in form of messages and each SQL reaches the entire network. The data is processed by the server itself and doesn't have to be returned to the client for processing. This makes things more efficient. This is the simplest network administrator interview questions among all. What is the routing information protocol or RIP? RIP is interior gateway protocol that was often used in interior networks and in some degree in internet networks. It helps the router adopt to the modifications that are made in a network regarding connections. Now it become less used since more efficient protocols were implemented like OSPF or ISIS. It is limited to a lower number of routers, a maximum of 15 router. The Routing Information Protocol RIP, defines a way for routers, which connect networks using the Internet Protocol IP, to share information about how to route traffic among networks. RIP is classified by the Internet Engineering Task Force IETF as an interior gateway protocol, IGP, one of several protocols for routers moving traffic around within a larger autonomous system network, for example, a single enterprise's network that may be comprised of many separate local area networks, LANs, linked through routers. What is SAP? Series of interface points that allow other computers to communicate with the other layers of network protocol stack. What is DHCP? DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a protocol used to provide quick, automatic, and central management for the distribution of IP addresses within a network. DHCP is also used to configure the proper subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server information on the device. What is a TCP three way handshake? A three-way handshake is a method used in a TCP IP network to create a connection between a local host, client and server. It is a three-step method that requires both the client and server to exchange SYN and ACK acknowledgement packets before actual data communication begins. What is VLAN? A virtual LAN VLAN, abstracts the idea of the LAN. A VLAN might comprise a subset of the ports on a single switch or subsets of ports on multiple switches. By default, systems on one VLAN don't see the traffic associated with systems on other VLANs on the same network. VLANs allow network administrators to partition their networks to match the functional and security requirements of their systems without having to run new cables or make major changes in their current network infrastructure. IEEE 802.1Q is the standard defining VLANs. The VLAN identifier or tag consists of 12 bits in the Ethernet frame, creating an inherent limit of 4096 VLANs on a LAN. What is Network Configuration Management? Network Configuration Management NCM, is the process of organizing and maintaining information about all the components of a computer network. When a network needs repair, modification, expansion or upgrading, the administrator refers to the Network Configuration Management database to determine the best course of action. This database contains the locations and network addresses of all hardware devices, as well as information about the programs, versions and updates installed in network computers. What are advantages of network configuration management include? Streamlining the processes of maintenance, repair, and expansion and upgrading. Minimizing configuration errors. Minimizing downtime.
Optimizing Network Security Ensuring that changes made to a device or system do not adversely affect other devices or systems. Rolling back changes to a previous configuration if results are unsatisfactory. Archiving the details of all network configuration changes. What is RPC? Remote Procedure Call RPC is a protocol that one program can use to request a service from a program located in another computer on a network without having to understand the network's details. A procedure call is also sometimes known as a function call or a subroutine call. RPC uses the client-server model. The requesting program is a client and the service providing program is the server. Like a regular or local procedure call, an RPC is a synchronous operation requiring the requesting program to be suspended until the results of the remote procedure are returned. However, the use of lightweight processes or threads that share the same address space allows multiple RPCs to be performed concurrently. What is ROS? The Realm Object Server synchronizes realms between devices, provides authentication and access control services for realms, and offers back-end integrations in server-side event handling. Why would you create logon scripts? Logon scripts are, surprisingly enough, scripts that run at logon time. These are used most times to allow for the continued access to share and device mapping as well as forcing updates and configuration changes. In this way, it allows for one-step modifications if servers get changed shares get renamed, or printers get switched out for example. What is the difference between single mode and multi-mode fiber? Single mode has a smaller core, the part that handles light, than multi-mode, but is better at keeping the light intact. This allows it to travel greater distances and at higher bandwidths than multi-mode. The problem is that the requirements for single mode are very specific and as a result it usually is more expensive than multi-mode. Therefore, for applications, you will usually see multi-mode in the data center with single mode for long-haul connections. What is ARP? ARP, or Address Resolution Protocol can be likened to DNS for MAC addresses. Standard DNS allows for the mapping of human-friendly URLs to IP addresses, while ARP allows for the mapping of IP addresses to MAC addresses. In this way it lets systems go from a regular domain name down to the actual piece of hardware it resides upon. What is EFS? The encrypted file system, Microsoft's built-in file encryption utility has been around for quite some time. Files that have been encrypted in such a way can appear in Windows Explorer with a green tint as opposed to the black of normal files or blue for NTFS compressed files. Files that have been encrypted are tied to the specific user, and it can be difficult to decrypt the file without the user's assistance. On top of this, if the user loses their password it can become impossible to decrypt the files as the decryption process is tied to the user's login and password. EFS can only occur on NTFS formatted partitions, and while it is capable of encrypting entire drives it is most often reserved to individual files and folders. For larger purposes, BitLocker is a better alternative. What is Boot to LAN? Boot to LAN is most often used when you are doing a fresh install on a system. What you would do is set up a network based installer capable of network booting via PXE. Boot to LAN enables this by allowing a pre boot environment to look for a DHCP server and connect to the broadcasting network installation server. Environments that have very large numbers of systems more often than not have the capability of pushing out images via the network. This reduces the amount of hands-on time that is required on each system, and keeps the installs more consistent. Subscribe to our channel. Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Leave a comment and like. Share this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.